So in this lesson, we're going to look at solving inequalities. We've looked at how to graph inequalities when we have something like x is greater than 5, but what we're going to look at now is how to take an inequality that looks like an equation, solve it, and then graph it. So let's say we have x plus 5 is greater than 10. So right now, we don't have x by itself, but to solve an inequality is very similar to solving an equation. We look at both sides, and what we want to do is get x by itself, do the opposite order of PEMDAS, and uh, what we do to one side, we want to do to the other side. So here, x plus 5 is greater than 10. The only thing that's keeping x from, from being by itself is the plus 5, so we can subtract 5 and that makes 0, x plus 0, so x is greater than negative 5. At this point, that's an inequality that we can graph, so this is our answer that we've solved for, and then we want to graph it, so if we go to our number line, we put negative 5 here, if we're saying x is greater than negative 5, then we're going right to number is bigger, and it's not equal to negative 5, so we put an open circle at negative 5 and put an arrow going right, and that's our answer. Now, number 2 has one thing that we'll see is a little different with inequalities than equations. So right now we have negative 3x plus 2 is less than or equal to 8. So we can put our little fence down do the same thing on both sides. So first we will move our plus 2, move the addition. So we get 2 minus 2 is 0. We get negative 3x is less than or equal to 6. Now, this is where we run into a difference. Negative 3x, negative 3 times x, we have to divide by negative 3. When we divide by a negative number, we have to change our sign. And what that means is we have to flip it so that instead of less than, because we divided by a negative number, we're going to change it to greater than or equal to. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, so we get 1x. x is greater than or equal to 2, negative 2. So then graphing is like normal. We take that. It's equal to negative 2. So a solid dot and greater than, so going to the right. And that would be our answer there. So one key to remember, multiplying or dividing by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. This doesn't apply for adding or subtracting with negatives, just multiplying and dividing by a negative number on both sides of the equation. So we'll take a look at one last one uh, where we have stuff on both sides. Now, this one we could subtract our numbers and our x's to either side. I have said before that I like to take my x's and keep them positive. So, 6x, we would want to move the 5x over to keep everything positive. We can subtract 5x. 5x minus 5x is 0, plus 7 is greater than 1x plus 3. And then we would subtract our 3 over. We get 4 is greater than 1x, or 4 is greater than x. Now this is backwards of what we normally have. Usually we have x on the left side. We can take this, look at what way the sign is opening to, and we can rewrite this with x on the, the left side, 4 on the right side, and if we flipped them, we would just flip the signs. If 4 is greater than x, then x is less than 4. So our graph, we'll put 4 in the center. And it's not equal to, so open circle. Less than means going to the left. And we have our answer. So for each of these, make sure you're just solving it just like a regular equation. The difference being you're using an inequality sign. At the end, you are putting it onto a number line. 
and if you have uh, divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality sign. So now uh, go on to the practice assignment, and once you complete that, you can move on to the assessment.